Hi everybody, I'd like to show two things on this short video. The first is when I get a good underwater image, it's almost never the first shot I took of that subject. I usually had several bad shots prior to the good one. The second thing I'd like to do is show some of my bad shots that I took prior to the good one and explain what I did wrong. And hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and it'll help you with your own underwater photography. So let's check it out. I just think it's so cool to be able to capture a close focus wide angle image of the underwater world, showing a beautiful aquatic animal like this tarpon along with my dive buddies in the same frame. By getting close to the tarpon, I can make it look larger than it really is. This is called size perspective distortion. I use a small aperture to get good depth of field so both the near and more distant subjects are all in focus. However, there are many potential pitfalls to overcome with close focus wide angle, and I'll now show you some examples of these. I had noticed several tarpon hanging around on this dive and decided to attempt some close focus wide angle shots. I was shooting in aperture priority mode with my compact camera and no strobe. Very simple setup. I started with the lowest ISO to minimize noise and the smallest aperture to maintain very high depth of field. However, I looked at my LCD information after the first shot and noted a very slow shutter speed. And sure enough, you can see this resulted in motion blur. So I then increased my ISO from 80 to 240 and opened my aperture on my compact camera from f11 to f4.5. Still not real wide open, but these two changes should result in a faster shutter speed and prevent motion blur, which is a blurred image from an from a object movement or camera movement while the shutter is open. I then took a random shot of my dive buddies and noted on my LCD that my shutter speed was now much faster. 1 3 20th of a second. This should easily be fast enough to freeze any movement and avoid motion blur. Now I should be able to get technically good images in terms of exposure and avoiding motion blur. But there were other problems. My next attempt shows a very common problem with close focus wide angle composition. I am simply too far from the near subject, the tarpon, to exaggerate that size perspective I talked about. I want the tarpon to look really large relative to the divers. I also happened to depress the shutter where most of the divers were exhaling bubbles. And finally, the diver closest to the tarpon is not separated to the tarpon from the tarpon. This is called a merger, a good example of many things to avoid while composing underwater images. Now here, I am much closer to the tarpon, and I have got that exaggerated size perspective. The tarpon now looks much bigger than the divers. However, I didn't get the whole tarpon in the image. This is called an amputation. But worst of all, I did not lock my focus on the near subject, the tarpon. When I recomposed my image, the autofocus tried to focus on the more distant divers and the tarpon now became blurred. Not from motion blur, because my shutter speed was fast, but from not maintaining focus on the tarpon. In this image, I locked my focus on the tarpon and the tarpon is now sharp. However, the composition is flawed. The diver profile is not great and another tarpon merges with the tail of the main tarpon. Very disappointing. Here, the tarpon and diver are focused, and the diver has decent profile, and two tarpon are facing me. Cool. However, I remember I'm using available light with no strobe, and I have to be aware of the position of the sun. And in this image, the tarpon were obviously under a ledge, so they were not well illuminated at all, and are way too dark. Boring. I'm getting closer with this image. I, I attempted a vertical aspect ratio to show depth and part of the undersurface near the top of the image. But again, I cut off the tarpon's tail, another amputation. Finally, this is my best image of the dive. I'm close to the tarpon. The tarpon and my dive buddies are in focus. The divers have good profile and gaze, and there are no mergers or amputations. I really like this image. I really like that image as it shows a beautiful tarpon up close with my dive buddies in the underwater world. Now to be honest, it might have been better if I could have caught the tarpon as it was facing me, but you know what? It just didn't happen. Well, thanks for your attention. I hope you found it helpful.